Hello Cancer, welcome to your October monthly reading. Thank you so much for being here and joining me today. I'm Cindy and this is Bringer of Light Intuitive. We are taking a look at your October, what, what the energy looks like going into October, what you can expect in October. We're going to get you some advice at the end and let's see what Spirit has for you. If you find that this resonates for you, Cancer, I would love for you to join my community here on YouTube hit that subscribe button and just be sure that you take anything that resonates for you leave anything that doesn't for somebody else watch your other placements to get a full picture of your October and let's just get started okay cancer what is the energy going into October for cancer what does cancer need to know all right let's see what wants to come out breathe this is relax rest meditation this is just sort of coming back to yourself, giving yourself some self-care. So going into October, maybe you're, you've been doing some healing. Maybe you've been doing some regrouping. Maybe you've been through some tough cycles, closing. We've all been closing cycles. We're starting new cycles. Maybe you're just sort of breathing through the close of the last cycle. It's been challenging, right? And so this, this card just tells you to really you know if you're not doing this already take some time for self-care give yourself some compassion you know you've been through a lot you're closing some heavy uh, cycles but you've also been through a lot of challenging energy in your recent past and just really breathing through giving yourself that compassion that you are right where you're supposed to be you're in the right place at the right time and you're moving in the right direction you may want to rush through things. You may, you may find that your body is telling you it's time to rest. Really just taking some time for self-care and, and uh, healing and meditation, relaxing, having faith, trusting that you're on the right track. Okay, I want another card for you, Cancer. Interestingly, too, she's on a lily pad and she's in water and that in that's you, you know, you're right where you're supposed to be. You're right where you're supposed to be. So for anyone who is questioning where you are or where you're headed, am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right place? Am I going in the right direction? You can trust that you are. I want one more card for cancer. Thank you. Yeah, so whatever you've been through, Cancer, um, it was looks like it was pretty big. I've got the fates. It's it's the fates is like you, whatever you've gone through, there was. I hate to say that there was a reason for it, but it's like with the fates card, it's like it was fated for you at the time you went through whatever you went through and it's left you kind of broken kind of heavy kind of feeling the lack of something maybe you've had some you know a business falling apart you've lost a job maybe you've lost a loved one maybe you're you're finding yourself in a you know a, a breakup or something like that there's there's um bigger things at play here and maybe that will help you see that you've been through something big and that's why you're going through this time of rest time of you know maybe coming back into your your faith in yourself your faith in the universe your faith that things will work out for you maybe you're going through a, a big time of self-care right now and just re-evaluating things and re-evaluating your goals re-evaluating your life you're going through some changes, some healing, and you're right where you're supposed to be. The Fates card says what was, what happened, what took place. It was almost like, it's like you had to go through it for some reason to learn something. And you're coming out the other side and you can trust that the universe has got you. And sometimes these things, you know, they do not feel good. And I'm so sorry, whatever it is that you have gone through recently, but you're breathing through it. You're coming back to yourself. You're in the right place. And things are going in the right direction. You are going in the right direction. 
going into October. So let's see what you can expect in October. I see a lot of uh, stars on this card. And for me, always, stars are healing. So you're healing from whatever it is that you have been dealing with up until now. That looks like this has been a very challenging year for you. It's time for things to change, right? So I've got the Two of Pentacles here, and this is you being a little bit out of balance. So I feel like coming into October, you're going to come into balance. With that Breathe card, you're coming back into yourself. You're coming back into balance where you maybe were turned upside down. And you're coming back into balance here. I've got the two, the Three of Cups here, and that is good news. So you can, this is your energy. So you can expect some good news, and you can expect things to change. There's something changing. We're going to get some more cards. There's something changing. There's some good news here that you're going to be celebrating. So, and you may have a choice. You may have a choice to make between maybe two good things. I don't know, but you're going to be receiving payback for whatever it is that you have been going through. I feel like... Look, I've got the Ten of Cups here. That's emotional fulfillment. Things are changing. Something is changing for you. And uh, you're going to like it. I know it doesn't feel like it right now. And you may not be able to see this right now. But if you could just see what is on the other side of this, like the universe can see, you will be happy. I've got the Three of Wands here as the overall energy. It's like... You've been waiting. I have two threes now, the three of cups and the three of wands. So this is a, a surprise. You've got a surprise coming in in October, Cancer. And this could be something that you've been waiting for because this is the energy of waiting. So you may, you may just be feeling the pressures of life lately and all this waiting energy. So whatever it is that you're waiting for, maybe you are, um, you know, you've been waiting for a long time. But something is changing. There's a surprise coming in for you. So let's see if we can see what it is. There's a surprise that you're going to be celebrating. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Yep, look, I've got the Ace of Pentacles here. And I've got the star in the heart of the deck, the heart of the spread your star this is your wish fulfillment see there's something changing here boy oh boy there is something changing and it's going to happen very suddenly i've got the tower here i've got the ace of wands i've got the star in the heart of this the spread cancer whatever it is that you've been going through it looks to me like it's been heavy it's been challenging it's been heavy it's been it's got you down you've been feeling the weight of something and there's some sort of surprise here that's connected to your prayers that's connected to your wish fulfillment it's something that you've been waiting for it's something that you've been asking for your prayers are being heard and answered this is in the heart of your spread this is big this is big. I mean, this is big. <laughs> so it's also the star. Like, you may be a star. And you may sudden have sudden success. You may have, maybe your wish is, is love. And you have love coming in. Because I've got the Ace of um, Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So there's... A lot of, I mean, this could be a love connection that you've been praying for. This is something that is going to put down roots and grow into something very big. Long term, something you can trust, something that is dedicated, something that, that wants to grow into something big, like I said. Um, but there's a lot of attraction here. There's a lot of star quality there's a lot of chemistry this lights your fire this lights that um passion on the inside of you so this is a brand new like you're you may have a choice because you had that two of pentacles you may have a choice coming in not only are you getting a surprise but you may have a choice 
between two really good things here and it actually is like your dreams coming true but then some because I feel like you might have two opportunities here and uh, you don't see this coming cancer you don't see this coming so I see that you've had a recent ending and that's probably what's got you down you've had a recent ending and this is another destiny card so this tells me this with that fate the fates card there's something like a karmic cycle closing there's a rebirth here there's something better coming in its place and it's like you you had to learn some sort of lesson and close some sort of a karmic cycle and it's probably been pretty heavy it's I'm feeling a lot of heaviness and you know you, you may be missing this whatever it is but it's heavy so you're going through some healing cancer from something that closed out and it was a karmic cycle that was probably a very long lasting cycle I've got this surprise coming in very suddenly with this tower. It's going to hit you like a like a lightning bolt. You've been going through a transformation. There's a lot of Scorpio energy here and Scorpio is at the end of October, but um you could be dealing with a Scorpio. It, you don't have to be. It could be this that just, you know, confirming everything in October is changing for you. There's a big big change. It's like a karmic change. There's a big karmic change here, but it's good. It is a gift that is a surprise that is going to light you up. This is a good tower. It's sudden change. The sun, something is coming in suddenly for you and uh, it can be love. It can be a, a uh, success. It could be whatever, I don't know you've got new beginnings here and you've got um, some success energy here long-term success you've got the six of cups here this could be a soulmate energy coming in for you and you may not realize this person has feelings for you. I feel like you know them, but this can also be like a past life situation and you had to close a karmic cycle to be able to have this coming in for you. And I know it probably doesn't feel too good right now, but there's a surprise and you're going to love it. And so I hope this gives you some encouragement I need some confirmation here what is this that cancer what is this surprise for cancer in October I've got the temperance wow this is absolutely divinely guided this is a big important surprise for your life you closed a big cycle and it's time to start a new cycle and uh, it's absolutely divinely guided You've had to have patience. You're going through a healing process right now. And things are changing in October for you. Let's see. What else? Yeah, you had to walk away from something. Something that was maybe long-lasting. Something that used to be a good thing. But I feel like it's a karmic cycle. You had to close a major karmic cycle. And you turned your back. You walked away entirely. Maybe you were forced to do that. But look, you've got the Ace of Cups here. There's there's love here. Either that or this new surprise is something that you're going to fall in love with. It's absolutely going to light your passion and your fire on the inside, your creativity, allow you to express your truest self, allows you to be yourself. And it, their Ace of Pentacles says you've got success in your future, whether this be a love situation or this be a financial situation that's going to change for you this month. You've got success here. There's success in whatever this is. So I feel like it's love for most of you, but a soulmate energy, and it's going to hit you unexpectedly. <laughs> 
Cancer. What can Cancer expect in October? What is the surprise? What is the surprise for Cancer? The King of Cups. Could be another water sign that comes in for you. This could be just you um, coming back to yourself, you know, getting back in touch with your heart, taking control, taking the leader stance in your life, taking, you know, coming back into your stability, really just finding yourself is what I'm feeling, really finding yourself here. And um, going through a heart healing too, you're going through a heart healing, Cancer. And uh, it's going to pay off, though, because, my goodness, you've got something really great coming in. And like I said, it's a surprise. So now I've got the King of Pentacles here. I've got the King of Wands as well. So, and the Queen of Cups. You are a magician. You are in your manifesting power. You've got a new beginning here. You've got a new beginning in communication from somebody here. So you're not expecting whatever this is that's coming in, although you're putting out the energy, though. You're, you're in your manifesting power, and what you're intending is coming in. So you might be intending su success. You might int be intending to find your soulmate. You might be a, in, intend, you're sending out the intentions of what it is that you want to manifest. So if you're trying to go for a job position, let's say, you're sending out the energy of success and you're going to receive it. But I feel like you're going to, you might even get two or three job offers. And it's, it's going to come as a surprise to you. Not only is, is it going to be a good offer for you, but it's going to create wealth in your future. You may be wanting to start your own business. This is an entrepreneur, a very successful one. <laughs> He's the king of wealth. So it starts out small, maybe, or slow-ish. Maybe you're in this slow period right now, but it grows to the King of Pentacles is pretty wealthy and successful. You've got success in whatever it is, though. And I have a divine partnership here. You might have had to close a cycle, a karmic cycle, in order to find the right one. You know, we all have to go through those karmic cycles. This could be just you really embracing your whole divine masculine, divine feminine all in one, just really coming into your power this month, really coming into your leadership of your own life, taking control and going after what it is that you want in your life. But I've got the Ace of Cups here. Interesting. I've got the Ace of Cups with the King and Queen of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles. And I've got the Ace of Wands with the King of Wands. You are literally going to be presented with options that you are going to run with. You're going to make the choice to run with something that resonates really well with you and create success. So whatever this is... <laughs> that is coming in for you, Cancer, this month is you're, you've got success all over it. You've also got the universe all over it, whether it is a divine love situation or, um, you know, you, you traveling, that, that wands can talk about traveling, following your passions, starting a new business. You've got everything here. It's like it's going to be presented to you and you're going to have a choice to make. Which one do I want to do? Which one feels best? Either way, you're going through a healing and your divine spiritual team is mixing all of the pieces of your puzzle together for something magnificent. 
I'm saying magnificent. And you had to walk away from something and close an old chapter, an old cycle, in order to become who you are today to be able to receive all of this. And you're literally going to love it. Your past does not equal your future. And things are changing for you so much in October. You've got a big surprise that you don't see coming, but you're going to love it. You're going to be celebrating by the end of this month. So let's get you some advice from your angels. Advice for Cancer. Look, we've got the angels card here. The angels are bringing you something. The divine is bringing you something. Oh. Look. <laughs> You're going to have to make a choice, I think. <laughs> Between your yes and your yes. <laughs> but not only that, this month is your month of yes. <laughs> Cancer, this is your month of yes. Okay, I always tell my private clients when this card comes out, this is my soulmate card. Because there's a divine masculine, divine feminine on this card. Uh, so I think that someone in particular is going to be finding their soulmate this month. Remain positive, Cancer. Advice for my Cancer, please. Advice for cancer. Thank you. It's up to you to protect your energy, to set good boundaries, to realize that you are in your manifesting power and think about those intentions that you're setting out, sending out, and protect your energy. You know, go through your healing process, your self love, your self care coming back to yourself and you're going to find that the perfect timing is unfolding this month for some sort of big surprise for you that may come in a package that you're going to have to decide which thing do I want to do first do I want love or do I want success it's up to you <laughs> It's up to you, Cancer. I hope you've enjoyed this. I really have. So let me know in the comments be below how this uh, resonated for you. Be sure you watch all of your placements, your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus in this series and get a full picture of your October. But I see that you are healing from something and I see that everything is about to change and you're about to get a surprise of a lifetime, Cancer. So... I'm sending you big hugs and thank you so much for watching and if you want to book a private reading with me please visit the link that is in the description box and definitely like this reading on your way out and if if it resonated for you and I'll see you in the next reading